Hello guys and welcome to the first video in this series documenting my progress as I learned to run using the pose method as outlined in Dr. Nicholas Romanoff's work The Running Revolution. I'll be using this book as my guide as I learn, as it says on the cover here, how to run faster, farther and injury free for life. Who wouldn't want that? In this video, I'll be introducing the program, its structure, and explaining the steps I'll need to go through to learn to run using the pose method. In the first chapter of the book, Dr. Romanov outlines the goals and benefits of the program. So one, you'll run more efficiently. Two, you'll run faster. Three, you'll be able to run greater distances. And four, you'll decrease your chances of injury. All sounds good to me so far. He talks about how the body was designed to run, asserting that we should avoid heel striking and we should instead land on our forefoot. So there's a distinction there between striking, which he sees as bad, and landing, uh, which is how he describes these forefoot landings, which uh, he's advocating. So that's what I've got to learn. He explains how running is a skill which means it can be taught. And in order for that to be the case, there must be a defined target or standard um, so we know what we're aiming for. Uh, he explains how the workbook is built around 10 key lessons and each one will take about a week to work through. Um, there is room for you to take longer or shorter over each lesson. Um, you basically move on once you're happy that you've got a good grasp uh, of that lesson without aiming for perfection as we kind of revisit topics in subsequent chapters and practice things that we've already covered. So there are four main sections to the book. Number one, preparing for the pose. Uh, number two is called 10 lessons. Three is called the running circuit. And four is take it to the limit. So in part one, preparing for the pose, um, in this section we cover some history of how the method was developed. Uh, we look at the perception system, your running journal, uh, choosing and using the right shoe, digital capture, where we look at videoing yourself running, uh, preparing to move, so this is the uh, mobility side of the, the program, and your strength routine, which uh, comes into play after each of the workouts. Uh, part two is the 10 lessons. Uh, so this is the main section about mastering the skill of running. Um, just broken down into 10 lessons uh, where we'll cover key topics and then later on uh, revisit them with some more advanced stuff thrown in. Uh, part three, the running circuit. Uh, in this part we get some more advanced versions of the strength exercises. Uh, along with a nine week plan to introduce some sessions where we combine drills and, and short runs. Um, so the, the kind of format of these running practices are where you will practice one particular drill and then spend a few minutes running with that, that drill in mind, just to kind of focus on that during that short run. As we're doing these uh, runs and drills, uh, we use videos, so we film ourselves running and then we review that and use the, the guidance in the book to assess the video and uh, look at where we can make improvements and what we need to do uh, to make those improvements. Part four, take it to the limit. Uh, in this final section, uh, we learn how to gauge our body's training needs. Um, we get example training programs for 5K, 10K, half marathon and marathon. And we get advice on staying fit, having fun and personal records. So that's it guys. I'll be following the process and documenting my progress throughout the series. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get the results promised in the book, uh, improving my form and getting back to running injury free, which is obviously my main goal from the start. So. Please like the video and subscribe to follow along and see how I get on learning the pose method. Thanks a lot.